now let us look at what is a logic gate uh, with the help of these logic gates we can implement the switching function which we already created and which we already studied till, till this point of time or you can say we can also create circuits for boolean expressions or boolean e equations right so what is a logic gate a logic gate is an idealization or physical device which is implementing a boolean function for example if we have a function on two variables a comma b is a plus uh, or make it for three variables a comma b comma c is equal to a plus b c now this kind of function is a boolean function so we can represent this boolean function with the help of a electronic circuit and that electronic circuit will be using the logic gates that electronic circuit will be using the logic gates right so these logic gates are used to implement these kind of boolean functions right so next is a boolean logic operation on one or more in local logical input it performs a logic operation on one or more logical inputs and produces a single logical output for example a logic gate will be having uh, for example this is a logic gate assume this is a logic gate now this logic gate will be taking one or more input and some locations it will be taking one input uh, some gates will be taking two inputs some gates will be taking three inputs so uh, it takes the logic gate will be taking multiple input and it will be creating a single output next the logic gates are primarily implemented using diodes and transistors acting as electronic switches so these diodes and transistors they are not in syllabus for gate computer science but for electronics and communication students they must be studying diodes and transistors but just for us just 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 remember that logic gates are implemented using diodes and transistors which acts as electronic switches right now with amplification logic gates can be cascaded in same way that the boolean function can be composed allowing the construction of a physical model of all the algorithms and mathematics that can be described with the boolean logic for example what does it mean if for example you have a boolean function of three or four variables assume the function is a comma b comma c comma d and the function is a complement b c plus a b complement c plus c d right so this kind of boolean function it can also be represented using a logic gate maybe you you may be having one more variable which is assume b right so this kind of function they can also be implemented using a logic uh, gate a combination of some logic gates right so for that we may need to amplify the uh, current value of the logical circuit which we will see at later point of time we can make a physical model of every uh, boolean logic function with the help of the logic gates now these logical circuit includes devices such as multiplexer we will be studying in combination of circuit what is a multiplexer we will be studying what are registers what is the arithmetical logical unit alu for example in case of computer architecture organization you will be studying what is the arithmetical logical unit and it performs all the arithmetic or logical operations in the computer system then uh, we'll be studying the computer memory for example we have ram and rom memories now this rom is also implemented using logical circuits and rom is a combinational circuit in that sense or uh, most of the microprocessor you can say all the microprocessors are implemented using logical circuits and uh, these circuits for some of the most complex circuits they may include hundreds or millions of logic gates so the number of logic gates a circuit is containing that that will specify that uh, uh, whether it is a, a, a large scale integration very large scale integration medium scale integration or small scale integration so that depends on what are the number of logic gates you must be using in that given implementation so a logical gate can also be used to store that data in uh, in the form of latch so we'll in when we are going to study the sequential circuit then we are going to study latch we are going to study what is sr flip flop what is a jk flip flop what is a d flip flop and k flip flop and so on. Uh, d flip flop and other types of flip flops so when we are going to study those flip flops in those flip flops the basic unit which is going to remember one bit of information that will be called as latch so these logical gates can be used to remember some information in the form of latches uh, and for example you have memories like you have registers you have cache memory you have main memory so we can implement these data storage devices using latches
so <coughs> so these logic gates generally receives voltages input and produces voltages or output for example here we are going to give some kind of voltage as input some kind of voltage input and in return it is going to produce a voltage as output and these voltages are typically represented by two values the so number one is high and low and the exact value of these uh, high and low voltages is not specified it is not necessary for us but for just for example purposes in some some locations they have taken the uh, high voltages plus 6 volt and low voltages plus 3 volts so whenever we are going to give these kind of voltages to the logical circuit then logical circuits are going to produce some kind of output and those outputs will be depending on this high and low voltage either it is going to produce a high voltage as output or it can produce a low volt voltage as output next if we associate a value 1 with high voltage and a value 0 with low voltage and it is called as a positive logic system and if we associate a value 0 with high voltage and a value 1 with uh, low voltage then it is called as a uh, negative logic system. What do I mean to say is assume we have two variables a and b and this is the operation between a and b. So what this operation is performing if a and b both are low then output is low if a and b is low and high then output is low if a is high and b is low then output is low if a and b both are high then uh, output is high right so uh, this particular operation perform differently in positive logic system as well as in negative logic system if you perform this operation in positive logic system what is a positive logic in case of positive logic we associate a value one with high voltage and we associate a value 0 with low voltage. What does that mean? If this is A, this is B and this is A operation with B. A operation with B. So if for low voltage if we associate a value 0, so it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and 1, 1, 1. So this, this given circuit is acting as AND gate this given circuit is acting as an AND gate in case of positive logic system but if you take a negative logic system for example if you take a negative logic system this is A this is B this is A operation with B so what is a negative logic system associate a value 1 with low voltage and associate a value 0 with high voltage so in case of negative logic system this circuit will become 0 0 sorry associate a value 1 with low voltage so circuit will become 1 1 1 one zero one zero one one zero 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 so this given operation will act as a or logic or you can say or get this given operation will act as a or logic or you can say or uh, or gate when we uh, give the same function to a negative logic system to a negative logic system so generally we are going to use different gates while we are going to perform different circuits for example we will be using an AND gate we are going to represent the AND gate like this this is going to represent the AND logical operation we are going to represent the OR gate like this we are going to represent the OR gate like this we are going to represent a NOT gate like this we are going to represent a buffer gate like this then we will be having XOR and XNOR so this will be an XOR gate this will be an XNOR gate I am sure most of you have already studied these gates and then and then we will be having NAND gate this will be a NAND gate and then this will be a NOR gate I think you have already studied these gates so I just take a very simple example and then I will draw these gates ok so these are the basic gates which we use and these are two input gates and some locations they may also give you three input gate or four input gate or n input gates so these are two input gates this is and representing AND gate this is OR gate this is NOT gate this is buffer gate this is XOR gate this is XNOR gate this is NAND gate and this is NOR gate so we are going to study these kinds of gates fine